Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jai here, and welcome to another playthrough video. This time I'm going to be doing Agartha, the next part. We are almost done. We're in the home stretch. Right now we are going to be doing the. Oh, we're going to be starting this up because this first and this first one is going to be of a fight against Shahrazad and a bunch of wave after wave after wave of characters so i'm gonna go ahead and find uh, uh no this brave elliot sean i'm gonna find someone with uh caster nero with a all right well let's do that with a brave elliot with that with that cat uh zarai's Zarai's one. Um, I think I've got the event team. Yep, got the event team here. So, I am going to, well, tempted to leave Ryder Salter there. Because she'll do good against the, um, uh, okay. Me do, because what I want, I, I don't want, uh, okay. I'm going to put, I'll go ahead and put uh, Castor Nero here. Ah, uh, I honestly don't want to put. Okay, I'll, I'm going to put um, another servant here. I'm going to put this one right here. Can I have her there? But I'm going to have her with a Dragon's Meridian. With with my with one of my Dragon's Meridians. Oh, I gotta, I gotta burn those CEs. That's right. Wait, hold on. Do I have? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta burn. Well, I gotta MLB that, uh, that divine construct. Burn these other CEs because I already have multiple copies. Okay. Yeah. Uh. gonna go ahead and put well you know what actually no I'm gonna put Castor Nero here save her for later a little bit later and put um, her there and right there I'm gonna put my newest NP2 servant right there you know what I know I call Ah, I forgot she's one 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 crap. Uh well, you know what? This I'm gonna try my best with. Uh let's uh let's put the let's put my other dragon's meridian on Mosh. That way I can get her NP gauge at fifty starting at fifty percent. Uh where is that? Is it yeah it's fifty percent. And at least with the Caster Nero, I can actually use her first skill to up it. What does this one do again? Spell card effectiveness. Infrastructure twenty percent. Oh yeah, the event. Okay. And, oh oh, they they got a ten. They got our ten 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 and MP two. Not bad. Z uh, Zarai, thank you. You're 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 a godsend on this one. Anyway. I'm gonna try my best to keep uh, uh, Raiko there, fed with the uh, uh, the uh, targetable guts. Okay, let's do this. Section 16, Women of Agartha. See, Raiko is basically for um, for wave clearing. Ah, uh, we're we're flying. We're actually flying. How is this happening? I've forgotten they're still here. This is bad. They're starting to panic. Um, hey, I've got a job for you guys. Huh? Real simple. Get out of here. Find as many of the men in prison here as you can and round them all up. Once you've done that, I want you to meet us back by the boats we used to get we used to get here. Oh, and don't worry about the Amazons. 
They should be zo bu busy zoning out like zombies. You could even steal their horse if you wanted. Now go on, hurry it up. Okay, we're on it. Well done. That was an excellent idea, giving them a job so they wouldn't have time to panic. <laughs> People always tell me that I'm the sort of sort who comes through when things get real bad. Besides, we were gonna do, have to do something about the men still in prison here anyway. At some point, anyway. All the more so now that we are literally have lift. All the more now so that we literally have lift off. Indeed. Not to mention this area is likely to become even more dangerous. It would certainly be, the, be best not to have ordinary humans close at hand. Now then. Now that our spectators have left for the time being, Ms. Shahrazad, allow me to ask you a question. Where exactly do you intend to have this place plummet? Nowhere in particular. Any heavily populated city will do. Oh no, it's starting to horizontally too. It's definitely sending a course somewhere. Then we need to act quickly. At least right now we're still above the relatively uninhabited ne Nepalese mountains. But there's still but there's still got to be at least some people seeing this. These last few minutes alone are going to be a nightmare for the major association of this time period to clean up. And if that weren't enough, you're also going to drop this huge landmass on this heavily populated city? This is a disaster. It will be a catastrophe like never seen before. Hundreds, thousands of people will die. I'm afraid it could be orders of magnitude greater than that. To make matters worse, the damage won't be limited to the physical realm. We're still experiencing the after effects of the Gethia mess, so the world hasn't completely stabilized yet. There's no telling what sort of chaos this, world, this, this could unleash. That is exactly the point. There's a reason why I'm going to have a fictional city destroy a real one. By doing so, I will destroy the concept of mystical secrets. What? Once Laputa plummets onto a real city, people everywhere will be forced to accept that the place of fiction is as real as the place it destroyed and the people it killed. Once that happens, it will change the world. Everyone will know that mystical beings exist and in consequence and will attempt to learn their secrets for themselves. Eventually, mystical may become an ordinary part of everyone's lives. Wait, if that actually happened, then... Indeed. Once mystics became, become available to all, they will, cause to, they will cease to be mystics in the first place. That is the future I wish to bring about. A world where mystics lose all substance and power, so the servant summoning system becomes obsolete. Huh? Oh, I'm looking for something on the fog right now. Otherwise, I'll have to die and again. Die again. Wait, hold on. It's just like going up. No. Otherwise, I'll have to die again and again. I'll have to constantly live in fear of death. I'll never be able to escape this was in insidiousness of knowing my death for sure whenever I am summoned. You go so far as just to avoid you go so far just to avoid death? Can't you understand how I feel? No, I can't. Your fear does far out of proportion for any living creature. Isn't deadly fear, but the idea of, of of yourself, of yourself dying. Then, if it is death, but the idea of yourself dying, then so, if something else has gone wrong in your life. Let me share now what I held back that night. Our perspectives on death couldn't be more different. So I'm looking for something I bought earlier, and uh, not finding it. Oh, it's still in my, uh, it's probably still in the, it's probably, it's probably in my bag somewhere. I am a warrior. From the day I was born, I have been taught that to die is an honor. The only aspect of death we fear is that we might die having to violate our pride or, or guys, not death itself. 
death symbol for all living things. The path you take to death is your life. You should be finding what led you you'd fear death to such a degree, not death itself. You surprise me, young Fergus. You're far more composed than warriors twice your age. Her grown self must be a wise and kind warrior indeed. Uh, 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 I'm right there with all of you, but now is not the time. But I am not that strong. I never was. For I am not a warrior. I simply cannot help but wish, but wish to not die. That is all I think about. Oh, I can't think about. I don't want to be strangled. I don't want to be cut. I don't want to be flogged. I don't want to be burned. I don't want to be stabbed. I don't want to be starved. I don't want to be shot. I don't want to be eaten. I don't want to be crushed. I don't want to be poisoned. There are so many ways to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die no matter what. That's all I've ever wanted. For me, stories were my lifeline. A thin, flimsy lifeline comprised solely of words I strung together recently, uncertainly. Hang on, the 1001 Nights. That's right, Master. I know the story of the 1001 Nights. You ready to be knights as well. And yet there was a king too who was taking virgins' wives and killing them the next morning. And you volunteered to go and stop him because it was the right thing to do, didn't you? At first, yes. But do you know what it's like to spend night after night with a deranged king who no longer trusts women? The fear that comes with that, never knowing what that never knowing if the next day would be your last? He couldn't be reasoned with or bargained with. He simply he was simply kill women for no reason at all. I could have been killed merely because the wind blew, or because it rained. Anything could have set him off. And of course, it was always possible that he would grow tired of my stories and decide to kill me rather than wait to find out what happened next. It was as though I lived with a poisonous insect and could kill with, a, with but a single stain. That is why, after some time, all I left was a desire to not die. That was all I had. I did my entire being towards fulfillment. Words, expressions, presence, gaze, servitude, demeanor, opinions, changes, worldview, stories, pleasure, temperature, uselessness, usefulness, submissiveness, stimulation. I gave up everything I had, so also I wouldn't have to die. And at long last, after 1,000 interminable nights, the king finally came to his senses. After all that, when I lived once my one and only life, I was forced to become a heroic spirit. After I had been shaped and formed solely by my desire to not, not to die, I would become a being that is doomed to be repeatedly summoned and always disappear. Kings are both great in stature and foolish in mind. MacArthur itself has proven as much. A single person who attempts to lead a nation will inevitably end in discord. Regardless of whether that discord leads to failure among its people or failure in the nation itself. I know that the responsibility for either outcome fails and falls on the king. From the outside, that king will appear foolish or even tyrannical. No matter how skilled a warrior they are, kings who can accept that foolishness will not stay king. My future self knows that well. Nothing I can say to you could make up for the suffering you endured spending a thousand nights with such a foolish king. But I can say this. I won't let you destroy the world simply because you don't want to die. We Celtic warriors see the world as a battlefield of honor, and your story contains no hint of honor. Yeah, you know, I don't really get what's going on right now. But I did know I definitely didn't, don't want the sermon system going away. That would mean I'd rather get to visit my new place and, you know, that would, need, that would mean I'd never get to visit any new places or meet anyone new. Or get to, or get to send off any, anyone off with a word of encouragement ever again, right? That'd be awful. I don't want to forget those tears. I am a knight of the White Lily, sworn to protect the bonds. Indirect though it may be, 
and I am proud that I can continue to fulfill my duty even in death. If you wish to remove the means of fulfilling my duty, that makes you an enemy of France and me. Above all, I can't let you cause a catastrophe. Well said, Master. If a landmass this size struck the earth, the damage will truly be cataclysmic. We actually have to prevent that no matter what. Fearing death, clinging to life, attempting to destroy everything, that much may be the same as the demon god king's plan. But she has nothing beyond that. She has no intention of making the planet, nor, nor starting over. All she's doing is trying to destroy the world out of petty personal desire. Again, she has nothing beyond she has nothing beyond that. I don't know how much influence the demon god pillar has had on her, but this whole idea is twisted. She's trying to commit suicide by destroying the world, all so that she'll never have to die again. Don't misunderstand me. I would just as soon leave the world out of this as out, out of this if I could. That one who summoned me told, told me that there was one hero spirit who voluntarily disappeared from the throne of its own accord. How I envy him. Things would have been so much easier if I had to do that too. <sighs> You're completely backwards. You have no idea what a great and tragic feat it was for him to disappear from the throne like that. Is she talking about Romani? Well, there's potential they fail to live up to, or tasks they fail to complete. Every great person has unfinished business of one kind or another. Only those who see it living, leaving nothing at all behind, can fully disappear from this, from this universe. His soul will never transmigrate. No one will ever tell a story again. He'll never be needed by anyone for anything. He had no choice but to disappear into the void. And you envy him for that. And you envy, envy him that. You only say anything, Master. I feel the same way. She has no idea the, the fear she's inside on all, in all of us. Come on, let's show her just how wrong headed she, her envy is. Okay, Shahrazad, this is really going to hurt. All I want is to not die. Nothing more. So why? Why are you trying to subject me to that again? How could you be so cruel? Very well then, I suppose I have to fight if I don't want to die. I doubt you'll let me go no matter how beautiful those Dogez I present. I have nothing against Solaria. If anything, I envy you too. I have everyone here. You are the only one who will never have to die again once you are dead. Okay, that one's kind of weird. Uh. Well, let's hope this setup for mine works. Yeah, the reason why I'm not really using, um, I'm not using uh, Ozamandias is that she has a big uh, defense against. Um, King type enemies. Okay. Oh, hold on, folks. I got to plug in something real quick. Gotta plug in one of my portable chargers. Be with you in just a moment. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's see if we can do this.
silêncio. Okay. 
out those other ones. Oh, I forgot one. Figure it out easily. tedious here. Yeah, I know her. She's not very good against her, so.
And this is gonna be it. I'm gonna have to use uh, command spells. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Command spell. Okay, I know it did the overgauge with the uh... <clears throat> Can't wait to do this one's update. Yep, got that one taken care of. And that's all that's left is crap. I just wasted her in. Okay, got 100% shots on all three of these, so this shouldn't really hurt. This should work in some cases. Another. Okay, might be doing some heavy damage to her, but no, I don't think it'll be enough to overgauge. To over, you know, overgauge. No.
Should be doing the uh, over gauge on this. Hopefully not. But she does have the burn. And this is it. Yep. Good. Last one. At least I've got the uh, the uh, coming back the, the the guts on uh, the guts on Raiko and the invincible on uh, Musashi. Oh hell yeah! Well yeah, there goes. All right. Right here. Okay. Oh man, I can't. Oh yes. Thank you, Musashi. You did it. Well, there's that ending. Got a lot of goodies too, so. Oh man, yeah, this uh, this pearl charger I have is a piece of crap. I got another one that's good enough. Anyway, uh, um, let's see what we got here. Okay, it's a. It's gonna be a fight against Shahrazad herself, maybe. I really didn't look into this, so I'm gonna assume that's just a fight against Shahrazad. However, that's gonna be this video. My next video will be another one for Shimosa. So until then, this is Love Jazz saying thank you all for watching. See you then. Take care of yourselves.